it's it's so easy to go straight to Catholic because that's the religion that gets picked on the most and because they're of their ignorance of a lot of scientific facts. But I think that ignorance is bliss to them. If it fits their if, if it fits their uh, their belief systems, then that's what they have to do. It's how they stay safe. Because anything that challenges their beliefs, then they can't that can't happen because if a belief system that is all there is. And that's why I keep saying, you know, that that's how that's the flaw in organized religion. That's all there is. Well that's not all there is. So but I also think that you can't wholeheartedly believe in science because ultimately there's only so much that we can prove. Uh, might not be the best person to ask this question because I think that as much science as possible is good. I mean, granted there's other um, things that people need to know about, like how to think and how to think abstractly and how to express themselves, but I think that science is a good basis for everything. They told me it was just chemicals. I'd be like, well, tell me what my perfect match is. <laughs> so I know. If it's just chemicals, do you think they could match people easier? It becomes silly just to deny uh, scientific, empirically derived, um, what we would call facts. I think science has always been around. It's just been in different forms. Um, I don't really believe that there was a time pre-science, it was just pre-technological science. So I, but I get, I understand what you're saying and I think it's probably was based on more, whether it be feelings or mysticism or religion, something like that. But all I can think of is when people used to challenge that the earth was, that was flat. People swore that it was flat and eventually, you know, we found out that it was round. I once met a 24-year-old guy who did not know that a piece of bread had sugar in it because it was simply, he didn't know that bread had sugar in it. He's like, it's pure carbs. I was like, well, yes, well, those are sugars. <laughs> Maybe you should have taken health class when you were in high school. <laughs> so yes, I think everybody needs more science education. I don't think it's just chemical. I'm sure chemicals have something to do with it. All point of views need to be taken into consideration and I think that you really shouldn't judge anybody by what they believe in because everybody needs something psychological, they need something to believe in because that's kind of their way out of knowing that it's chaotic. Yeah, I would say it's kind of a gut feeling to know when I think things are important or true. In the future we're going to end up rejecting a lot of the, the scientific um, assumptions that we take as fact now. Science could tell you one thing, but your heart could tell you another. You know, I think a lot of people just, you know, <laughs> treat people as objects rather than like real love. Someone that they can spend the rest of their life with. They see them as just an object, a means to their ends. I think that science is a good a basis for everything. Me too. Yes, Jack, the vacation will soon be over, and you'll be going back to school. You and Betty and thousands of other young people will get down to work in the business of preparing yourselves for the life ahead. And what good prospects the life ahead holds. You will live in finer homes than your forefathers ever dreamed of. 